Now, the last part, the, the total storage capacity required for an eight hour pumping period plus the fire reserve. Okay. Now, for the second case, they don't switch on the pump for 24 hours. Now, they only switch on the pump for eight hours only. Okay. So, that is the difference between the second part and also the third part. The fire reserve is still the same. It's still 784, so we do not have problems on that. But now, for the second uh, second part of the question, they only switch on for eight hours. Right. What it means, okay? Instead of pumping the water for 24 hours, okay, and that's why we have this pumping rate as 31 liter per second. Now, they will only switch on the pump for eight hours. So that means it's, they're starting from 12 o'clock at night until 8 o'clock. Okay. So what it means, between these uh, 8 hours, they've got to pump really, really quickly. Okay. So that by the end of 8 hours, the reservoir, we have already got a volume of uh, this amount of water, the cumulative amount of water. Okay, the maximum value is 2685 meter cube. Okay. That means within these eight hours, that means from 12 o'clock midnight until eight o'clock in the morning, they've got to pump the water so that by eight o'clock in the morning, the storage reservoir has already had 2685 cubic meter of water. Okay? So that's why they need to pump really, really quickly. Okay, to achieve this level or to achieve this volume. So, how much water? What is the volume for that uh, needed for that eight hours? So, how do we do that? Is by obtaining this value 2865 minus with the volume at eight o'clock, which is 582 meter cube. You can obtain it from table. Okay, so the maximum value is. 2685 and the amount of water at 8 o'clock is 582 meter cube. So you have to minus this 2685 minus 582. Okay. So that is the equalizing demand when, when we start the pump for 8 hours. Oh, sorry. I think you probably want to take, uh, to take picture of these diagrams as well. You may need it. Have you taken the pictures? Well, yeah. Okay, thank you. So we move on to the last part of the lecture. Okay, the total storage capacity required for an 8-hour pumping period plus the fire reserve equals to, right, so the fire reserve is not changing, so 680.4. And then the total storage capacity, you have already uh, seen the mass diagram just now, the hydrograph. It says that at the maximum level was uh, 2685. And then at 8 o'clock in the morning, okay, the volume is 582. So you've got to minus this value with that value. So 2685 minus 582 plus with the fire reserve. And that will be 2103 plus... 680.4 and those value would be 2783.4 meter cube okay that means this is the volume of storage reservoir needed 2783.4 meter cube if the pumping rate is not 24 hours but 8 hours so I think that's all that I want to say for this lecture. Thank you very much for your attention.